Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of Friday Psychor Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psychor Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about a couple of ways in which you can upload a media file into the Psychor Media Library. First, you can, by default, you can upload it as a simple blob into the database. And the second way to upload it is a file into the file system. So media files get uploaded into the database by default. Now each one of them has cons and pros, however the recommended way to upload files is uh, using the database. And we'll look at some of the reasons why. Now first let's take a look at the options um, we get when we do upload media into the media library and how we can choose to upload it using the default option or override it and upload it as a file into the file system. So I'm logged into the Sitecore A1. Let's go and navigate to the media library. I know there is a media library explorer, but I use I use content editor for everything. It's kind of a all-in-one tool. So let's uh, look at the images folder. Let's click on upload files. Now let's see if I can find a good file to upload. Ooh, look at that. Psycho MVP logo. There we go. Now, as you notice here, we can enter alternate text. And then below, we have several options for uploading this file. And which one of them is upload as files. Now, if I don't choose any of these options, or especially if I don't check the upload as files option, when I click upload, this file will be uploaded into the database. And there is an easy way to tell, looking at the media item in the media library, whether it's using the database or not. Let's go ahead and click on that media file, media item. And notice that the file path is empty. Now that's a sign that the uploaded media item is using the database. Now let's go ahead and upload the same item. Let's see, what was the name? It was Sitecore. Technology MVP, there we go. Now let's upload it as a file. So we'll check upload as files option and hit upload. Okay, now let's take a look at what the media item uploaded into the file system looks like. Uh, let's see, wrong one. There we go. So now we can see the path, the local path, relative to the Sitecore website root folder of the media file item that was uploaded as a file. Now, so what are the cons and pros of using one over the other? As I said before, the recommended way is using the database. Here's why. Um, during the publish, Sitecore only moves content from one, one database to another. Now notice the keyword here is the database. Sitecore does not do anything with a file system. So if you've uploaded your media files, uh, your media files at, as a, uh, a file into the file system, they will not get transferred from your authoring environment to your delivery environment during the publish. That would require an extra step, uh, something along the lines of uh, hooking web deploy into the publishing process. However, it is an extra step you got to take to make sure that your publish is complete. Now, when images are uploaded into the database, that's a different scenario. Like I said, publish moves content from one database to another, so media items uploaded into the database get moved to the delivery of databases during the publish with the rest of the content. So there's absolutely nothing you have to do extra to move your media. Now, another benefit of storing it in the database is the ease of serialization. As developers, uh, to streamline our development process, what we want to do is serialize our content and check it into the source control alongside our code. Now, if our files or media files are stored in the media library uh, with the tools like Unicorn and uh, TDS, it's very easy to do. Very straightforward. Simply serialize them alongside the rest of the content and push it up. However, if your files are stored in the file system, and especially if you're following a uh, one of the best practices in storing your solution outside of the website root folder, it might get tricky to serialize those or to synchronize those items 
with your solution folder and push those up. As you notice, Sitecore uploads them into the app data folder. Now it's possible to um, modify that setting and point it to an external folder or maybe do some redirects and reroutes, um, some IS trickery to make to make it drop those files into a folder outside of the uh, Sitecore website root folder. However, that increases maintenance in the long run and it makes things a bit confusing during development as well. Now, however, there are there is at least one good case um, for uploading into uh, the file system versus uploading media files into the database. And that is if the website is very media heavy and media items do not usually get requested more than once. The reason for that is Sitecore, when it has to pull a media item from the database, it goes all the way and extracts that blob, which is much slower than simply pulling the media item from the file system. So the first time a user hits the website, a media heavy website, Sitecore has to go to the database and retrieve all the, all the media items from the database and then cache them into the file system and then serve it from the file system from there on. So what that tells us is the first hit to the website will be slow and if the website is very media heavy and if users aren't likely to load the same media items over again during their session the overall website performance is going to be negatively affected if we store our uh, media files in the database. So that is the case when we want to upload them as files and store them in the file system and hook a service uh, hook in a service such as let's say web deploy or any other third-party syncing service or, uh, or even DFS uh, for synchronizing our media files from uh, between the authoring and delivery environments. So there you go. These are cons and pros of storing files uh, in the database and in the file system. Uh, keep in mind as a general rule it's recommended to store them in the database but there are some exceptions so keep that in mind. So if you like this video, uh, if you like the tip, please like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, add some comments and feedback below, and for more tips like this, check out cmsbestpractices.com, and again, my name is uh, Vasily Fomichev, and I'm a Sitecore Technology MVP, and I will see you next Friday, over and out.